Good morning, guys. Today is a beautiful day here in Orlando again. It's a little bit chillier than normal, but we're gonna go check out one of our customer's tank. His name is Taylor. He's got a water box tank. I hear he's been doing it for about two years. We're doing maintenance in his tank. Benji's the one actually taking care of his tank. They told me he buys a lot of nice rare corals, so I'm super excited. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna ask him a bunch of questions. All right, so before we head to uh, Taylor's house, we're checking out Joey here. You guys know Joey is Louis' uh, brother. He's been doing maintenance for us for a long time and he's doing maintenance here on the Pentagon. What are you doing, Joey? Just gluing some frags. Gluing some frags? Yep, some recordias. All right, yeah, it's always good to reproduce recordias. Yeah, man, everything looks pretty overgrown in here. How often you get in here? Uh, usually at least twice a week. Twice a week? Yep. Nice, it's a lot of work, huh? Yeah, it is. You gotta build those quads to be like bending down like that, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Yes. Well, if you guys coming down for Ripapalooza Orlando, don't forget to stop by the store and come check out the Pentagon. It's looking amazing, but you have to see it with your own eyes. But anyhow, I just wanted to tell you guys one more thing. Don't forget, we're gonna hide an egg of Casper somewhere in there, like a little Casper somewhere within the video. First one to find and send us a DM, we'll be glad to send you a swag package, like a t-shirt and a bunch of stickers. We don't care where you are, we will send it to you. You can be in France for what we care, we'll send it to you. You can be in Brazil, you can be in Argentina, you can be in Spain, we don't care, we'll send it to you. So, go ahead and find Casper. All right, now let's go check out the tank. We just got here, I'm so excited. Let's go check this out, guys. Three tanks. I haven't seen people with three tanks in a while, man. You know they're addicts when they do that. So tell me about your dogs. So that one there is Piper. She's a uh, three-year-old German Shepherd Husky. Hi, Piper. And then, oh, she's cute. No, she's three years old? Three years and old. And how long have you had her? Uh, I've had her for two years. So two I got her from a rescue. Oh, um, you're a rescue girl? Yeah, she's super sweet. She's she, so clean. Yeah. It's just like so soft. She's a sweet girl, huh? Oh, she wants to be on camera, look. How about this guy? And this is Winston. Winston. Uh, Three-year-old French Bulldog. He's so thick. He is, and he snorts all the time. He's so cute, I love dogs. If you guys don't know, you guys see me in the videos. Dog first, or crime second. Always. Oh, I'll go crazy for dogs. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm a dog freak, man. We're here at Taylor's house. How are you, Taylor? Good, and you? Good to meet you, man. Thanks. So, um, I see you got a lot of rare corals. I love your tank. I want to ask you some questions uh, regarding your tank. Yeah, for sure. So first one is, uh, is this a water box or? Yeah, it's a water box, uh, a Marine X 110. So it's an 80 gallon display and then the rest of the gallons is a, made up with the sump. I'm correct, assuming. yes. That's how they call it, the 110. I love it. Water box has been around now for about five years. They're doing a great job. It's not many people carrying these tanks all in one. It's, it's them, it's Red Sea. Yeah. I think Marineland and Perfecto are no longer making tanks. Aquion, I think, is still making a few of them. This is an open market for people to make tanks out there. We need more people making tanks. We need different models, different sizes. So if you're out there, you make tanks, this is the opportunity. And how long has the tank been running for? Uh, November <clears throat> of 21, so just shy of a year and a half. So it was like a COVID tank, basically. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so. question, how did you get into the hobby? Uh, well, I mean, my dad used to have uh, Reef tanks when he was when I was little, and uh, then he got out of it, and then they kind of seeded, you know, seeded your mind of yeah. fish, and then I love the ocean, and then so it's like having a little slice of the ocean here. Yeah. So you say when I grow up, I want to get my own reef tank. Exactly. So how did you end up finding us? How did that work out? Uh, well, I bought a freshwater tank, and I went to your store to look for freshwater, and uh, I wouldn't do freshwater. No, you don't. So then I. Uh, Kind of figured that was my key, you know, maybe fate said now's your time to get the salt water. So I ended up leaving the same day with this tank. It was like a sign from above. This is yeah. the time to go into salt water. Don't, don't do fresh water, do salt water. And you never look back. Never. And how do you get into such a rare corals? I see a lot of rare corals in here, like a decent amount. I see um, we have the uh, mango tango. You got the crazy, um, um, the micromuse, I forgot the name of oh, it. The holy grail. The holy grail. Yeah, yeah. You got the, the mycelium that we haven't released yet with the bubbles in the two colors. What do we call that one? Uh, it's a cosmic. 
Yeah, the Cosmic. Everybody wants it. Yeah. He got it when we first got it. We yeah. frag a few pieces before it became cool. So I don't know how he's got a frag. You got some cool Zoas. I see you got the best gunnies I've seen in a while. They're super happy. You got some crazy torches. I see you got a, you got a Holy Grail back there. Yeah, Holy Grail, uh, a God Torch, and then some other, like a Dragon Soul. Everything looks so happy. Yeah. Uh, you got a lot of LPS too, I see. Are you diving into some SPS? I see a few frags around. Yeah, I just got my first uh, acro there. When did you start putting uh, SPS? In this tank, it's been about a month. About, about month? a month. Okay. Maybe a month and a half. And did the acro and then I have the, uh, the chalices down there. Okay. And are you planning to put a few more acros? Yeah, I want to put a couple more acros. Um, probably up there to branch out, maybe one of this rock here. Just to give it like a different shape and stuff like that? Yeah, just to have some vertical, fill the space okay. up. And the rocks, I see you got some real reef rocks. Real reef there, and then I believe this is the uh, Oh uh, Yeah, Kerbsy, the tree, tree uh, so I kind of molded it. I like how you broke it down into three pieces. Yeah, that way everything's kind of, when they do grow, they're not overlapping each other too much. I can't help but to see you have the most beautiful blastomus over there on the right. It's like this burgundy rim with like this neon yellow centers. It's two big polyps. How long have you had that thing? Going on nine months to a year. I've had nine that. Nine months to a year? I yeah. love it, man. And then the other coral I cannot help it but to look at, if you guys see on the very middle, it looks like a bubble coral. Then you realize it's a hammer that is kind of like bouncing. It's got these little bubbles coming out, out of everywhere. So it's like, it looks like a mixture of like a golden bubble, but it's a hammer. I love it when you see those corals that they think they're, they're something different. Mm -hmm. I see you got some cool Aikens there. Is that a jelly bean chalice there? It is. It is gorgeous, man. Wait till that thing grows a little more. It's, just, got, it's got a decent amount of ice right there. Yeah. Uh, what about fish? I see you got a um, Bellows yeah. Angel. Yeah, I got two. I have the male, female, and then I have the a pair of the frostbite uh, clowns. clowns. He's uh, gorgeous, by the way. Yeah, I love the other pairs are somewhere. Then I have the yellow tang I got from y'all. It's an actual Hawaiian yellow tang. Okay. That was from your farm. Nice. Then I have the orange back uh, Ras. So Lorenzo's, Fa yeah. Yep. Falco, Hawk, I love that guy. He just has so much personality. Same with the algae blending. They just kind of hang out all day. Yeah, they just kind of talk to you, looking at you from a little angle, yep. right? And then I have the Melanaris Ras and then the parrotfish. Parrotfish, they're gorgeous for the reef, man. They don't They really are. So how do you keep the sand so clean? How much, I have probably six or seven uh, sand sifting stars, a whole bunch of uh, hermit crabs and uh, snails, and then obviously I have service with Benji. You, Comes so, out every two weeks. So we're taking care of this tank? We are. Every two weeks? Yeah. Okay. How long has this been taken care of? It's been going on about four months now. So if it does that every other week, can you tell me what you do like in between those two weeks, like some of the stuff that you do so in I, the tank? So I clean the glass uh, once a week because okay. it doesn't get that bad. And I clean the uh, skimmer, obviously feed daily. Okay, and what do you feed? So I feed a mix of the frozen roof, roof nutrition, um, frozen myces, cyclops, and the um, fish eggs. I love roof nutrition, then, you can't uh, go wrong with this stuff. About once a week I put in uh, the reef mix from more like close. Okay, cool. We have, we've been making that formula for about five years, it's what we feed, it's what we yeah, like. Yeah, that's all I do. I do a little bit of dosing of um, aminos. Okay. But besides that, everything else is just natural feeding. What brand aminos are you using? Um, that would be Brightwell. Brightwell? Yes. Okay, the little drops? Yes. Okay, I love it too. It's a great brand. Um, I use them on my tank as well, actually. The yeah, really. says, yeah. Um, what do you do for calcium and alkalinity? Currently, we're not doing anything. Nothing, just water changes? Just water changes. Oh, wow. We have the doses set up, but we just haven't seen the need for it. You test the water every time, and it's okay. pretty consistent. Okay. The tank looks great. I mean, if it's not broken, why fix it? Yeah. That's why I love to come to different people's houses. Everybody's got a different way of doing mm -hmm. it. So how often are you change in water? We do it every two weeks. Every two weeks, and we how do much about, is it changing? Uh, about 20%. It's so about 20%? 15, 20 gallons. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Tell me a little bit more of the tank. Let's talk about your filtration a little bit, if I can look sure, here real yeah. quick. Have the um, phosphate reactor. Phosphate reactor. Yep. And then, and then UV. I see you got a UV sterilizer. I do. And how long has the UV been working in there for? Since uh, the beginning? It's been in there for about nine months. I had a bad bat of velvet one time. See, the same happened to me. So I yeah. set up a new tank. I don't know if mm -hmm. you've seen the videos. Yes. I set up my tank uh, maybe eight, nine months ago. And for the first six months, I struggled with fish. I lost two batches. Uh, you guys know about it. No proud of it. Yeah. And, and then I put in a UV sterilizer. And what a change that made. 
Yeah. So it's definitely made huge changes. I will not recommend going with that one. I've been very happy since we started um, using it. So um, I think I got the same sum that you got. Obviously, the sum that comes with water box for return pump. You know what you're using? The Vectra. The Vectra. And for flow, are those the Nero pumps? Yeah, the Nero fives. Nero fives. It's plenty of flow for a tank like this, right? Yes. Anything else that you do to this tank on the regular, like like lining schedule, like is there any specific? No, I just do the, the the one that you guys have set up for your reef, the worldwide crawl schedule. Got you. I'm assuming these lights are Aqua Illumination Hydra 26? Correct, yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm using on my tank. They're great lights. They really are. Aqua Illumination, if any of you guys don't know, they basically invented this. Uh, they're the ones that brought it mainstream. We're talking about the year 2010. Uh, LED was on its infant stages and they came out and they proved to everyone that they actually work. It was called the Aqua Illumination Soul. I still know some people, they still have them running a decade later, but they're yeah. great lights. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. They really are, especially if you like the bang for your buck for entry. Yeah. You don't have to break the bank and go radions. Even though radions are really good, I have radions on my other tank. Yeah. They do a great job. Yeah. Great job. And right now, you know, they're being manufactured in the same facility, you know? Are they really? Yeah, now nice. they are. So you have any more plans to do any more different calls? I know you mentioned a few aquapores just to change some of the... Yeah, I want to get more into the, the collector high-end LPS. Um, dabble in that. And I, now I have a pretty good start off here. A lot of times people just buy a lot of things and I, I see a lot of calls here that if you get to grow them, they have really good value. And that was the thing when I started, you know, I mean, everybody has their like likes and dislikes, but I kind of wanted something different. So I kind of, you know, either waited and found a frag of a nice gaudy color instead of just a standard green. I mean, you could see I had some standard colors in yes. the beginning, but then once I started finding out that they take a hold really well, I started dabbling with the amaze balls and the yeah. candy apple and then the... I love goniopores. Goniopores, blastos, chalices. It's got to be one of my favorite calls. I don't know why. Yeah. There's a reason they don't... I mean, chalices are easier to grow for the most part, but goniopores... And blastos, they seem to be finicky, so you don't see them on everyone's tanks. Correct. You don't, you don't find them everywhere. You know, it's, it's, it's more of a specialty. So, is there any issues you've been battling in this tank since you set it up? Um, I have high phosphates and high nitrates. We're, we're bringing them down. Um, What's high? What do you consider high? 0.8 phosphates. Okay. That's pretty high. They're pretty high. Uh, nitrates we got down. They were like in the 50s. Now they're like 30. So it's not bad. I like him 10 to 30. I think 20 yeah. is the magic number, 15, 20. Exactly. 30 is time to say, okay, we'll get them a little high. And do you notice an improvement might lower them a little bit when they were too high? Yeah. Um, I mean, nothing really changed too much. I mean, everything's always been open, but I feel like they're getting longer. Like the torches and the Ghanis are extending more with less nitrates. Yeah, your island with torches there looks incredible. I mean, they're just expanding everywhere. How did this happen to have more than one fish tank? Well, I mean, I had all this set up here on this tank and then um, kind of wanted to dabble into going for a cube just to have it a personal space. I actually had it set up in my kitchen at one point, but obviously the salt water cabinets don't work. So then I moved it to the, I got a custom stand gotcha. from uh, Worldwide Corals and gotcha. set it up over there. So there was no reason, just, just you got at it, you became yeah. an addict. Welcome to the club. It was, I think it was a Black Friday sale and like, it was like 100 bucks off. I'm like, why not? It's a cube, but they're not that expensive to yeah. start with. And, and how long has that one been running now? Uh, that's been right out of here. And then you have a third tank over there by the entrance. What are you keeping on it? So that tank has kind of been going through a change. Um, She's got a lot of algae glowing in the glass. Yeah, it's going through a change. We, we, we're constantly battling algae in that tank, but uh, I used to have a small predator tank set up in there with not predators, but just a small, uh, not reef safe. I yeah. had some uh, angels in there and that I got velvet in that tank. So right now I have two clowns, a carpet anemone, a rainbow tip, or sorry, Chicago, and then I have a mantis shrimp in that tank. Mantis shrimp? I what do. kind? The rainbow one. A peacock? Yes, peacock. Is that one? Yes. Yes, that one. Well, Taylor, thank you for inviting us over. I appreciate you having yeah, us course. here. Thank you. The tank looks beautiful. I'll be glad to come back a little later when the tank is a little more grown up. Yeah, for sure. You know, when it grows a little more. Thank you for your time. Of course. Thank, thank you. you for following us, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. If you have any questions, we'll be glad to answer them soon. We'll see you guys.